Studio 61, powered by Vantage TV by Frontier. Summer means fun in the sun, but it also means high school students should start looking ahead to college. Here with some advice on what a rising senior may want to work on this summer. Greg Eichhorn is here with us. He's the Associate VP for Admissions and Financial Aid at Quinnipiac University. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having us. Here. Right, I appreciate so it. We both have kids. We know it's hard to get them to do anything yes. academic mm -hmm. during the summer, but we really should try and help our teenagers, our rising seniors, Correct. focus on next year, right? What should we be doing? So summer's a great opportunity and a great time. You know, there's a little downtime academically, but there's some great family time mm -hmm. as well. So this should be a family experience, um, and you can make this fun. Um, so you can use this for that self-exploration. If you haven't begun visiting schools already, it's a great opportunity to visit schools. Schools, um, universities are, are beautiful campuses in, in some great cities and, and neighborhoods and things. So it's there's some opportunities for family family vacations, et cetera. Um, the summer is also a great opportunity to get some of those things out of the way before they become a senior. So yeah. the thing, uh, the essay is always a stress point for teenagers. Um, for those that are students that are applying to schools like that use the Common Application or the Coalition Application, you already know what your essay prompts are going to be. Mm -hmm. um, so take the opportunity this summer to get them done, get them out of the way. Use mom or dad to help you know edit and, and know what sure. should be included in that. Um, and the other opportunity is to, to figure out who you're going to ask for, for you those recommendations. So you know, again, the school requirements that are going to have in the admissions process. So if they require teacher recommendations, know who you're going to ask. So when you get back to school, you're the first person to ask that, that teacher. Because um, oftentimes, if you're later in that process, that teacher may have been asked 20 or 30 times and each student's applying four, five, six, seven schools. Sure. So you want to be first in line so they really know you, Erica, when they're writing about you and they forget. Like, yeah. So um, get some of those that early work done in the summer um, that can make the senior year um, a little bit more relaxing and can make the selection process easier on the family. Yeah, once the school year starts to ramp up again, there's just going to be so much going on. You're going to thank yourself for doing it in the summer, although you might not want to do it right now, right? Correct, yeah. It so, will pay off. So if you can motivate your, your son or daughter, that's always great. But once the once the year started, if you have some of those things out of the way, it makes it easier. It can make that selection process um, a little bit more simple. It can make it um, easier with your guidance office in high school, and again, those teachers and things like that that you're you're working with. So you have more time to do some more of that exploration to narrow down the number of schools. You have time to work on the financial aid process. Well, uh, that's, that's a really difficult yeah. part for some people, and it causes a lot of anxiety. Yes, it does. It can be a real stressor. Yeah, the financial aid is, is one of the biggest stressors in this process. Um, and again, the more time and effort that you put into it early in the process can make that easier mm -hmm. as things go on. Um, so the families can even start that process in the summer as well. So you know the schools um, at this point probably, then not the complete number, but you have it narrowed down to the number of schools that your son or daughter is looking at, and you know the requirements for the financial aid um, standpoint. So you can start to gather the documents and materials that you know you're going to need so that you can get those forms in early. You know, you can start doing those in October and get them again, like your son and daughter, you can get that process done early in the process. Right, and it might easier. be a good time for parents to start having the conversation of, well, this is what we are definitely going to be needing for financial aid package if, you know, when the time comes and we get our acceptance letters and then the financial aid right. packages, just to sort of pave the way for what we can do and what we can't do. Correct, yeah. and, and again, I always tell families, there's, you're going to have more questions when you get a financial aid package yeah. than when you're filling out those financial aid forms. Um, so the earlier, the more attention, the more customer service you're going to get from the admissions and financial aid offices. Um, and, you know, it's a business as well. So there's always more money and time with earlier in the process. Right. So um, you don't want to be at the end of the financial aid process trying to f struggle had to figure out how you're going to pay for it. You want to be earlier in the process so you can get those th questions answered sooner. Absolutely. Before we run out of time, we have a checklist that we want to run down for our seniors as they head back to their senior year. All right? We want to meet with your counselor. Sure. Uh, well, you definitely, as soon as you get back, um, you want to meet with your guidance counselor to make sure that um, he or she is working with you, know the schools that you're going to be applying on, the timeline that you're going to submit those applications. Um, if you haven't at the end of your junior year, early in the, in the senior year, we talked about this earlier, you want to make sure you've had a personal conversation, not an email or a text to your, to your teacher, but a personal conversation about the recommendation that you want he or she to fill out for you and where. Um, and get your applications out. Um, get them done so you have time to enjoy your senior year. 
um, more so, um, and it makes it less of a stress process on, on, on the family. And visit those top le level schools again in the fall, yeah. uh, if possible. If um, you have to go back, that's not a big deal. No, go back. Take your time. It's yeah. a big decision. Try it on. Yeah. You've got to make sure it fits. It's just like just like a dress or a jacket. You Absolutely. Know, you want to make sure it fits. So true. All right. Thanks so much. Great. Appreciate it. Thanks the for information. having us. Appreciate we'll it. We'll get it up on our website for folks. Thank you. Thanks so much. And coming up next.